what is up you guys so today I'm gonna share with you guys my BBL journey um, my doctor was dr. Jaime Campos he's based in Tijuana Mexico and I want to answer just some frequently asked questions what you want to know when you're thinking of getting surgery when you're ready to move on to the next steps on how to get started and things like that um, so yeah so I got a BBL in June, June 16th of this year. So about three months ago, it was dur during the quarantine, everything like that, we're still in quarantine. But um, yeah, so the areas that I initially wanted to get was I wanted to get, obviously the BBL includes your stomach and your lower back. So what I wanted to add was my chin and my upper back. Also, I want to mention that this this is going to be a bit of a sit down video, but I am going to include some clips of me during in recovery and after my surgery. So I wanted to get my chin and my upper back done as well. And each area was going to be a thousand dollars extra. And pretty much when I went in for my consultation, you have a consultation the day of your surgery. Um, Dr. Campos was kind of talking about how he did not want to do any extra areas because of the corona and everything like that. He was kind of just saying like, the more areas I do, the more you're going to bleed and the more your immune system is going to go down. And he's like, it's already, you know, surgery is, a, it's, it's a very serious thing. So I don't want to put you more at risk with all with everything that's going on also i think campo started taking patients back in may so it was still kind of fresh when i was getting my surgery and he was really 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 adamant about just everything like when i went in to surgery my bmi was at a 28 and at the time i did not know this but campo's what was real was only really comfortable with working with girls of a bmi of 27 so i was like one higher and but he, so he was lit he hadn't seen my body yet i was in my hospital gown and everything like that so he was just kind of saying like oh you know you're a little bit overweight blah 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 and everything like that so when i had sent in all my information his team told me that my BMI cannot be more than a 29. So I was like, girl, I'm at a 28. Like, we should be good. We should be fine. You know what I mean? So he was just kind of being like, um, I'm comfortable with girls at a 27 right now, blah, blah, blah. But let me look at your body and like, let's see what we can do. So he saw my body, all my lab tests came in and I was healthy everything was good so he decided okay you know we're gonna proceed with the we're gonna proceed with the procedure and he's like if you want we can reschedule you if you really want to get your chin and your upper back done but if if not it's really up to you I was like hell no I'm trying to get my body done today not tomorrow like I want to get this shit done today so I was like, okay, we just won't do my chin or my, and my upper back. It's fine. But also, your labs, so when they take your blood out and all that stuff, they're going to send you an email and they're going to tell you everything you have to do. And pretty much, um, I was a little bit stressed out because I didn't... It was, it was going to be kind of expensive to get my blood taken out because they send you a list of tests that they want um, the phlebotomist that's what it's called right people who take your blood out um they send a list of all the stuff that you, that needs to be checked so i was like girl it was gonna be like 50 bucks per thing i think something like that i was like this is gonna be hella expensive don't even worry about it they do it the day of they can do it for you the day of i think for like 120 bucks something like that so just just a thought girl don't stress out you can get it done the day of and they know what the fuck they're doing. It's really fucking quick. Like, you're good. 
So yeah, you send in your information. You have to email them four pictures of yourself. So it's gonna be a front picture and they do need to see your body. So girl, be in like a bra and underwear or something. Um, that's what I did. So it's gonna be a front pic. They wanna see your belly and everything. Um, both of your sides, so your left side and your right side. And a back picture so they could see your booty, obviously. And also you need to send like your information. Let me just pull it up. So you just send your name, your date of birth, your cell phone number, your address, your height and your weight, your email, the procedure that you want to get done, um, any medical conditions you have, and any medications that you are taking. So you kind of want to add all of that, attach your four pictures, send it on over, and I'll put their email in the descri description below so you guys can, so it's easy, you know? Um, also, they're going to send you the email with everything that you need to know. So all the stuff that you cannot eat, which it's not, I mean, it's a lot of weird stuff. But the one thing that was on there is garlic. You're not supposed to eat. So they send you like um, a list of things that can... So it says stop taking any of the following. following. They can interfere with the healing process, blood coagulation, anesthesia, and some of them prolong bleeding. So it's just a bunch of random ass shit like um, Advil, Aleve, Aspirin, birth control. Oh yeah, you cannot take birth control four weeks before surgery. Um, diet pills, ibuprofen mushrooms garlic it's a lot of it's a lot of stuff it's a lot of stuff so you're gonna see it they're gonna send it to you um yeah so four weeks before surgery and then um they send you all this stuff to do the the day of your surgery so you need to take a shower with um antibacterial soap and the one that a lot of a lot of people use this is what I bought it's called HIPAA cleanse and you can buy it at CVS I bought it at CVS um, and it's just uh, it's just a antibacterial body soap so yeah you need to take a shower with that so a day before surgery I took a full body shower hair you have to shave everything so your legs your underarms your cookie um, you have to shave everything so yeah that's what i did i you know full body shower shave and then the day of surgery i took a body shower and i and i used the hiba cleanse again also so you do have to make a deposit to save your date um it's a thousand dollar it's a thousand dollar deposit and they send you the account it's a bank of america account i don't think you need to have i don't think you need to bank with bank of america to send the money to the account i don't think you do i, I don't work there so i don't fucking know but um the girls were saying in the group that you do not need to so yeah i don't think you need to though. so yeah you have to say you what so what i did i talked to him over the phone and i told and i asked him what is your next available date like girl i'm trying to be there asap um and he said june 16th or june 21st i was like girl give me june 16th i don't care if my birthday i'm in recovery um also, a lot of girls want to know how long you're supposed to stay in a recovery home. Uh, if you if you decide to stay in a recovery home, they want you to stay there for at least seven days. Seven to ten days, they said. I stayed there for like seven days on the seventh day I left. And that's because um, you get your massages. He gives you... Five massages are included with your bbl and everything like that so they want you to stay in town for at least in the email it says eight to ten days but i feel like everyone stays there for seven days but don't everyone's everybody's different so don't be like well this girl said seven days don't do that okay don't do that 
but um i i personally just booked it for seven days uh it's a little bit it's a little bit pricey so you know i i paid almost a thousand dollars i paid 960 dollars for six nights and then like set the seventh day like i i um What's it called? I checked out. So pretty much why they want you to stay in town is because you have a drain. You are going to have a drain. So uh, the day, the last day you do get checked um, and they need to see how much you are draining and on your little, it's like a little, it's like a little ball and um, it holds all your fluid it's kind of gross but i'm sure if you've seen a lot of um surgery videos you've seen the little ball that they have hang hanging it's a tube with like a little ball and it's holding all of your fluid and stuff that comes out after surgery and you need to drain less than 25 in a 24 hour period that doesn't make sense girl watch some some fucking surgery vlogs okay um so yeah i stayed there for about seven days and left on the seventh day and i still had my drain when i left but so pretty much they dr campos tells you do you have someone that could take it out for you that's like a nurse or like something like that um i said i did because i do have like a friend who's a like a nurse but it didn't end up going down like that. I ended up taking my um, drain out myself. And I've seen a few girls take it out themselves. Um, girl, you kind of have to have tough skin. Like, you kind of have to be a little strong to take it out yourself because it feels very weird. It hurts a little bit, but the most part, it just feels fucking weird because you can feel it moving inside you. So I recommend someone do it for you, but you have to be very careful. You have to be very clean. You have to disinfect everything. I used tweezers and scissors because Dr. Campos told me, he's like, well, all you need to do is you cut two stitches and then just pull it out. So yeah, I did it myself. <laughs> Okay, I did it. I pulled it out and look at how long this was. This is stitched to my skin with the stitches and then this was everything that I pulled out. So freaking long. So it was two stitches like I said. The two stitches are right there. Well, there's one and then I don't know where the other one is. Somewhere in here, but ew, I know this is so gross, but it is what it is. And my moral support right here. Oh my god. <laughs> she helped me get through it because I almost thought at one point that I was not going to be able to take it off. When I was like this much in, I was like, how fucking long is it? And then I got it out. So we're good. And then I disinfected with this. The doctor gave me this. And I put some gauze on the wound. And it's really, really a small wound. So it's like not bad. But yeah. Girl, I am not a nurse. I am not a doctor. I am just telling you the things that I did. You do not need to do this. Um, but just kind of take what I say with like a grain of salt, you know, keep it in the back of your mind. But like, do what you feel you need to do, okay? Listen to your doctor. Um, make smart decisions, you know what I mean? <laughs> Um, somebody asked how many days you should take off of work. I took off two weeks of work. Um, I recommend, it kind of depends on your job. I'm a massage therapist, so I, I'm up. I'm up massaging people. So I was a, really nervous about that, actually, because one of my friends, um, she only asked for a week off, and she used to work at a restaurant and she only asked for a week off and she's like i wish i would have asked for two weeks off because my bat my body was hurting she's like my body was hurting and girl after a week no 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 you are still like sore you're tired you get fucking tired just walking up and down like going to the bathroom and coming back like you're like oh shit i'm a little bit tired you know what i mean so i asked for two weeks off and 
I was really, really stressed out because I was like, oh my God, am I going to be fine? I would say, depending on your job, maybe just maybe two and a half weeks, I would say. Two and a half weeks, depending on you, depending on how you feel. If you feel like, oh shit, I don't think I can go back yet, then girl, tell, tell your freaking job because yeah it's for me i feel like i had a pretty good recovery i'm not gonna lie i'm very 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 thankful to god because i i wasn't in a lot of pain and i feel like i was up and up and going like pretty quickly like literally the next day um when I woke up from surgery, I was feeling pretty good. I'll, I'll probably insert that video. And it's so crazy because I recorded that video and I didn't even remember recording that video until I watched it. And I was like, what the fuck? I do not remember recording this. But I think it's because of the anesthesia and stuff. Um Update. <laughs> I just got out of surgery. You can't see anything because I'm covered up. Yeah. My baby. And I am just dying of thirst. Like, I can't wait to have something to drink. I don't know why I sound like this. Like, I sound so weird now. I don't know, but I'm just like so thirsty right now. And I can't wait to see my body because I don't know what I look like. So we'll see. Update, guys. so she could give me some water and she said not yet just because you might get nauseous and I'm like damn I'm so thirsty I'm a bit swollen too looking like a mess um surgery was fine I feel like I was awake the whole time like you know they say girls fall asleep and they wake up, but like, I was just like awake the whole time, and then sometimes I would like, like I was saying, like I was awake the whole time, but like sometimes I would be like dozing off a bit, and then I like wake up and like realize what was happening. But I just kind of, there's not much you can do. You're just there, and it's not like a freak out. Like it's not like you're gonna freak out. But it's just a bit uncomfortable sometimes. But I wish I would have like just been like asleep. It was weird because like it probably took a while, but it kind of felt fast. But it kind of did feel like it took a while. I don't know. It was weird. But yeah, I still like can't believe it. Like I feel like I'm dreaming or something. Like can't wait to just see how my body's gonna look so we'll see about that also ignore my voice i don't know why i sound like this like even when i was talking to the nurses my voice has gotten better like before i sounded like i don't know i just my voice was like cracking and stuff like i was just like oh my god why can't i speak Hi guys, so I am, I got out of my surgery today, it's been a few hours, and I have my mask on because I look so ugly, 
but um it's currently i don't even know what time it is because my phone died but it has to be like 7 p.m maybe um and girl i look like i've gone through it like i'm sorry about this lighting but this is what we're working with is there a mirror no okay well this is what we're working with i'm trying to walk around and stuff so that i can um drain faster just wearing a robe If you are if you are afraid of blood or anything like that, try to skip this, but this is my drain. So that's where I drain all my fluid, blood, other like little pockets of like fat and like things like that. And I actually need to get it drained out because um are emptied because um look at the floor i have been dripping a bit which is not cute but that's what happens literally super normal they put like these little puppy pad looking things on the bed so that we don't get anything messed up so yeah it has been a long day it's been a super long fucking day what i got so it was liposuction on the abdomen waist and lower back fat grafting into the buttocks so you know the bbl part they put the little fat in your booty one post-surgical compre compression garment which is your faja and one week post-off up medication so they give you all your medication honestly i did not buy anything all i bought was um arnica pills i bought nausea pills and i bought them at sprouts they were like natural these natural ones i bought like ginger ginger candy for like nausea and stuff like that also um i ended up getting an extra faja you want to have two fajas because you bleed and you're gonna get a bit messy so when they're washing your other faja you want to have another faja so that you don't swell up and after your showers you just want to have that second faja to like have your back grow because if you are out of your garment for too long you swell up it's harder to put your faja on and it kind of hurts a little bit and um you get really lightheaded so after your showers i feel like everyone feels the same you get a little bit lightheaded you feel like oh shit because you've been wearing that compression garment and then you take it off and then also they do not recommend you take hot showers well when i was staying at the recovery house the nurses were telling me you know make sure you take a shower with warm water not hot water because hot water can lower your blood pressure i believe and make you feel lightheaded and they do not want you to faint while you're taking a shower i took my showers by myself and the cool thing about the um recovery house was that they have like a little button to push so that if you need them to come in and help you that's the great thing about um having that having uh your recovery house staying in a recovery house is that you have someone a nurse a qualified nurse to take care of you 24 hours so it's like if you wake up in the middle of the night and you feel not good you can just call them they're gonna help you they're gonna they time all your medications they make all your meals They do your laundry, they help you put your faja on, they help you shower, and they kind of like emotionally support you. The um, 
the place that I stayed at is called Princess Palace Recovery and everyone was so freaking sweet there. They were so sweet and um, I felt really, really good, really greatly taken care of there. So that's where I stayed and I do recommend that place. So when I went in for surgery, I literally just was wearing a robe. I was wearing a robe and my undies and like a sports bra and that's it like and some and my adidas slides like that's literally all i wore when you get there they give you their little infamous lotus med group slippers and um you literally change into your little hospital gown and your compression socks oh i also bought compression socks on amazon i think it came in like a three pack or something or like a four pack for like eight dollars or something Okay, so how much did I pay? So because I did my $1,000 deposit, which goes with the final cost of your surgery. Um, so I had the winter special. So the, it was, I believe, um, usually. Okay, I'm not going to say these are set prices because this is what I paid and this is the information that I know things may be different for you but um, so what I paid was for the surgery itself um, it was six thousand dollars usually I think it said it was six thousand seven hundred but because I did the winter special it came out to six thousand and then um, at the time uh, at the time, another YouTuber, her name is Morale, she also got her body done with Dr. Campos and she had um, a discount code and it was for $200 off and I took advantage of that when I called, it was, it still worked. So um, yeah, I got $200 off of my surgery as well. So it was $5,800 plus I think a uh, 120 for an extra faja plus um i think i got some other extra medications that they told me to get so and then i like i said i wanted to get those extra areas i was i thought i was gonna pay more because i was gonna pay a thousand dollars two thousand dollars extra for those two extra areas that i wanted to get but i didn't get them so yeah, my my surgery was literally like like 6 grand pretty much because I mean it was 5,800 plus the other little miscellaneous things that they add. So it was literally that's how much I paid, girl. I'm not saying you're going to pay that much, okay? So don't think, girl, I was told this is how much this girl paid, so I want to pay that much too. No, girl, like, girl, you're lucky if you get a surgery date. That's all I'm gonna say. I'm gonna include also some clips of me trying on some outfits. So I have tried to fil film this video um, before, and I just didn't really like how it came out. So, But I will include um, those clips of me on that day that I was trying on outfits because... I, so you guys could see my body, you know, so you guys could see my body I'm gonna try on a few different outfits and you're gonna see that so you can kind of see um, I went for a very natural look um, My wish picks were Cassie MUA's body. Oh my god. I knew like she was skinny Before she even got her body done. So me. I was a bit more of a thick BBL like I was thick before my BBL I was so I wasn't like skinny already like a lot of girls some girls like they go in and they're skinny already they're just trying to get their booty done or whatever and have more of a curve your girl was thick so yeah um I really liked um, I told dr. Campbell's that I really liked how her booty and her legs blended in really really well so um, yeah I told him I I don't I was like I don't want to look too fake I just I want more of like a natural look if you guys hear that in the background it's my dog she's crying because she wants to be in here <laughs> um 
But yeah, I went for more of like a natural look. I still really, really like how my body came out. Also, if you guys want to see what my body looked like before, I do have another video, my first video I uploaded, and that's when I lived in Australia for a year. Um, I feel like you can see my body in those in those in that video so I was a little bit more square I was thicker um, so yeah if you guys want to watch that video so you guys can kind of see what I looked like before I'll also also be inserting some pictures of like what I looked like before and stuff like that All right, so I put on some short shorts so you can see my booty better because I'm not going to, I don't want to wear like a thong. I don't want to get demonetized. I don't want to be, I don't want my booty to be all over YouTube like that, you know. So this is my booty. I'm also going to show you guys where my incisions are. This is my booty, I mean my front view, side view, back view. Three months post-op. And yeah, my booty feels like normal. It feels like jiggly. It's not super, super hard that much anymore. And I'm gonna try on another outfit so you guys can see. I'm gonna show you guys my incision. If you guys could hear crunching in the background, it was Gigi eating a treat. Cause so I gave her one so she could leave me alone. And the other one right there. And then I have the drain was right there. So I have another incision right there from the drain. And then this is like the most visible one that I have because these ones are obviously covered. And this one, if I'm wearing a shirt like this, obviously you could see it if I don't wear long, big, high-waisted shorts. I don't know if you can see that. And then I have another one right here above my booty crack. All right, and I'm gonna try on a dress so you guys can see how I look in a dress. And this is me in a dress all right so this is like how i look in a dress isn't this so cute you guys i got this from misguided i think it's really really cute but i don't even think i'm gonna be able to wear it anymore because like summer is like coming like coming to an end i live in arizona so it's still warm but it's like summer's coming to an end. Quarantine, there, there ain't shit to do. This is my booty. I really like how, I don't know, I feel like I look proportioned. Like I, I'm really happy with my results. I think I look great. Yeah, this is how I'm looking. So yeah, you guys, if you have any questions at all, don't be afraid to ask. Ask me anything. Um, I'm also going to include my Instagram in the description below. Um, I don't have very many followers because I kind of just made my Instagram again back in November so that I could see all the different doctors and everything like that. So if you guys want to add me on Instagram, I will be posting more stuff. I will be... Um, you know what I mean? Like, I'll be posting more things. If you guys want to subscribe to my YouTube channel, I would love that. We can be friends. You can see everything that I'm doing, more updates and things like that. I want to post more, like, lifestyle and travel and um, just cute, fun stuff like this. So, you guys can kind of see. So, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate you guys all. And until next time, you guys. Say bye, Gigi. Bye.